Welcome back to Canada After Dark. And <laughs> now that hilarious explosion was Martin Short. I'd like you to meet him as Martin Short, if there is a Martin Short. So let's bring him out here. Why did I influence your dress like that? That's wonderful. You have a tie like this? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. It. Everyone's got one in Los Angeles. Oh, well, they just uh, came here to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, as a matter of fact, Toronto's a lot more chic than Los Angeles. Fred Allen had a line about Los Angeles on the time. He said, when it's, you know, the time difference. He said, when it's 9 o'clock in New York, it's 1938 in Los Angeles, <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty much what it is. Um, Marty, good, good to see you again. Good to see you, David. And we haven't worked together literally since the David Stein show. <laughs> no. And, and since we then, you've gone on... <laughs> no, we will. You've gone on to big things, and uh, you're at Second City now, which you weren't during the show. Yeah, I actually just left Second City. I just left two weeks ago after being there for two years. Yes. And, uh... Was I a little influence in getting you over to Second City, do you think? Or did you have it in mind before you met You me? were an influence in all the guys... And, and girls that I knew in Second City were influences because, I mean, it really is true that it's the best place to learn a great deal of information, and then once you learn it, you have to do something with it. You just can't stay there, so that's why I moved on, and since then I've, I've, I've done really nothing with it. But, I, I'm, <laughs> but you're about to. <laughs> I'm about to. Uh, Marty, the, uh, I, I want to introduce uh, Dave Letterman, but s someone told me that people believe that we were cousins. I mean, we That's set true. up this Del Bravo relationship on the show, and, and we'd like to keep it going if we do have a show. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but people actually believe that you were my cousin? Did someone That's tell true. Me? I, I got a call from the Canadian Jewish News <laughs> one day, and this girl, um, uh, oh, let's call her Marsha Levy. Uh, said, because that was her name, and she said, uh, I'd like to do an interview with you. And it went on, and she was setting up the time, and should I go to my house or her house or just meet? And uh, she finally, I finally said, you know, I thought about it, and I said, you know, I'm not Jewish, you know. I, I'm Catholic, I'm not Jewish. She said, well, aren't, you, aren't you David Steinberg's cousin? I said, no, I'm not David Steinberg's cousin. Uh, hello, hello, <laughs> hello, and she never, Ah. So I, it's, I don't know whether she was mad that I wasn't your cousin or I wasn't Jewish. <laughs> I, I don't know either, uh, but... We uh, could phone her, because... But uh, it's nice to know that, but my... <laughs> but I do have a cousin, Morris Steinberg, who is available for interviews if Marcia is listening. <laughs> and he's a psychiatrist. Yeah, Marcia. <laughs> and very funny. Marty, thanks for being here, and we're going to do some more work a little later on, and we have more of your uh, compatriots and mine on the show.